Hey everybody, this is Mr. Storm, and I'm going to teach you how to use Microsoft Publisher. Um, Publisher is, is part of the Microsoft Office suite, and people don't really use it that often. Uh, it, it's kind of made for specialty um, situations, but it's something that we're going to use almost every project in this class. So you need to become as familiar with it as you possibly can. Uh, essentially what Publisher does is it allows you to put together publications uh, using text and photos um, and it's a lot easier to use than something like, say, uh, Microsoft Word, which is horribly built for that. Um, this is a specific program built mainly and, and strictly for creating publications. So I've opened up Publisher. Uh, it's this cool hunter green-ish color in the Microsoft Office family. Um, and when you open it, I get my backstage menu, and I have uh, templates that I can open up. Um, or just blank documents. But I'm going to show you uh, kind of some of the examples of things you can build with this. Uh, we have a modern cookbook, uh, birthday poster, thank you cards, uh, cards, photo address labels, um, photo albums, uh, calendars, uh, bookmarks. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff you can do with Publisher, and, and it's actually pretty easy to use. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend the next 10-15 uh, minutes kind of just showing you how to use this, how to import photos, how to how to create new documents. Um, first of all, I want to show you more blank page sizes because some of the documents that I'm gonna have you build in this class, um, I give you specific dimensions for that document. So, for example, if we're doing a poster. And I tell you that it needs to be 18 by 24. Um, that's a pretty big poster size. But there is not a document on here that is 18 by 24. So you can go in there and create a new custom page size here. Uh, you can set it uh, 18 by 24. And it will make a big giant poster here, right? Now, on, on the screen, on your computer screen, it'll be the same size as any other document. Um, but that is the 18 by 24 is concerned with how big it's going to look when you print it out. Um, so 18 by 24 is what we're looking at. We can go one page per sheet, a booklet, email envelope. Uh, there's all kinds of ways we can set up our document before we even start. Uh, we can change our margins here as well. But I'm going to keep it here, and I'm just going to call this big poster to create a new custom page size. So big poster. So now my custom page size is down here and I can open up my big poster document, right? So now this is my big poster. The first thing you're going to notice with Microsoft Publisher is that it works a lot the same, uh, a lot of the same as uh, say Microsoft Word or Excel, uh, uh, programs that you're familiar with if you've taken my computer technology class. Um, the best part about it is that it still has this ribbon here and the ribbon is basically a context-sensitive menu that, allow, that allows you to move from tab to tab to pick different options that allow you to insert or review or change the design of the page um, very quickly. So for example, let's say I want to change the background color of this document, right? Uh, if I go to page design, I have an option over here for background and I can choose that I can choose a gradient background or a solid color background. I can even click more backgrounds and actually customize it exactly the way I want. Solid fill, gradient fill, picture or a texture fill, pattern fill. I'm going to, um, let's search for a, t a cool texture online. Um, that's another good feature with um, Office 2016 is that they are fully integrated with online services. So I can just do a Bing search right here. Um, and of course it's Bing because it's Microsoft. But I can do a Bing search right from here and go. Uh, let's let's do a mm, let's do a metallic search for a metallic texture. And I have all kinds of cool metallic textures here. Let's grab this one. I like that. And we will use that as my background. So now I have this poster with this cool metallic texture as a background, right? And it only took me a couple of keystrokes, a couple of clicks. It, it did not take long. Um, I can also insert pictures and uh, straight from the internet. So I can do things like online pictures and I want to do action hero. Find a just a generic action hero picture and these are all terrible. So let's do, let's be more specific. Um, Sylvester Stallone 
and uh, we'll grab Rambo here, why not? No, I don't want that. I want, oh, this is harder than I thought to find a good, we'll do, we'll do this. We're going to have to make some, uh, yeah, we're going to have to make some changes to make it work. Oh, wow, that didn't work at all. Cool. Anyway, we'll deal. We'll, we'll, we'll make do with this. So now I have a picture inserted into my document. Now, there's a lot of things that I can do with this picture right from here. So if I go to my picture tools, um, I have all kinds of options here. I can, add, um, I can add a border to my picture, and there are tons of border styles here. Um, can add, you know, I can add a little border around it. I can add some effects here. I can uh, give it a picture effect, so give it a nice glow, or give it uh, some soft edges, or a bevel, or rotate it in 3D space. Um, I can add a caption to the picture, uh, so I can add a caption on top. Actually, I'm going to change that 3D rotation back to none, and then add a caption, Rambo. Now, I'm not seeing the text because my text is set to... Oh, my text is way too tiny, that's why. Let's make it much bigger. And if you find that you, 72 isn't big enough for what you're looking for, because again, we're working on an 18 by 24 inch canvas, you can extend this out. Oh, actually no, you can do this. You can just type in as big as you want. So let's do 300 and that's maybe a little too big. So let's go 240, there we go, that's fine. 240 works. And with this picture, let's go back to pictures, picture tools, and I will make the caption on that side. Oh, and it got rid of my caption. Anyway, you guys get the idea of how to create a caption. Um, so that's how you insert pictures and modify them. You can even crop your picture as well. Um, oh, you can crop your picture by grabbing the crop handles here. Here, let me zoom in a little bit. Oh, and by the way, to, to zoom, I'll, that's way too far. To zoom, all you have to do is hold control and scroll the mouse wheel, and you can zoom in on your on your project. So if we're cropping, grab the crop handle. Nope. I think it's probably because I have that caption on. Let's go back to the picture tools, and it's not going to allow me to crop. There we go. Crop. There we go. Yeah, sometimes these controls are a little bit, ah, uh, I'm just trying to make it a different size and not cropping it. Anyway, whatever. We'll deal with that later. You'll figure it out. Um, so that's a uh, picture. I can also insert a, uh, let's insert a text box here where I can type uh, Rambo and uh, again, make it as big as I want. Let's go. Let's go 240 again. 240, enter. Oh. Rambo. And then I can grab this and change the font to whatever I want. Uh, make it a little bigger. I can change what color the text is. Um, I can change how, uh, how spaced the letters are so I can make it loose spacing or tight spacing. Um, I can do, um, I can change the caps so I can make it normal or small caps or all caps. This, this font specifically is all caps. Um, I can add superscript or subscript. I can underline, italicize, bold. I can also change the hyphenation rule for paragraphs. Um, I can change the direction of my text so that it goes vertically as opposed to horizontally. Um, I can change the orientation of where my text is inside the text box so I can make it completely centered um, if I wanted to do that. I can add columns, margins, all kinds of things that I want to do to this text. I can add, add word effects or text effects to make it look better. Um, let's see what else. I can add a drop cap. So drop caps are when uh, you're starting an article 
and the first letter of the first word is super big and then the rest of it is all normal size. It's a really cool looking effect. Um, so I definitely suggest you try that out when we get into writing articles and, and things of that nature. Um, so that's text. Let's throw another picture in here or another object. That way we can I can show you how to layer things properly. I'm going to go ahead and just draw a shape. I'm going to draw a happy face. So I will draw a happy face. Now notice that my happy face is on top of uh, the Rambo picture, right? The happy face is over the Rambo picture. But if I want my Rambo picture to be on top of the happy face, all I have to do is select either one of these, doesn't really matter, okay? Uh, I can select my Rambo picture, right? And what I need to do is, uh, that's group, I don't want to group. Uh, let's do, let's do the, the happy face picture. So I have my happy face picture. I can go to the home uh, menu in the ribbon and I can send that backward. Okay, I'm going to send it backward. Sometimes you need to do it more than once to get it to go behind what you're looking for. And so now my happy face is behind my Rambo picture, right? You have to think about it like these are laying on top, you know, it's like you, you just dump this stuff out on a desk. And if your Rambo picture is on top of your happy face, then that's what it'll look like. But if your happy face is on top of your Rambo picture, then that's what that will look like. So you've got to, it's pretty easy to um, place things where you want them to be. Uh, you can just, just grab them and move them around, and then you can change the, uh, the layering here. You can also align things uh, specifically to uh, the margins or the center of the page. Um, you can rotate objects. Um, you can even freely rotate those objects by just grabbing them and moving them however you want. Um, there's all kinds of things you can do. Uh, the last thing I want to show you is, let's go into shapes, and I'll draw a square. Okay, let's say I want this square and this smiley face to be the same object, right? Or to be treated as the same object. All I have to do is select them together, and, I'll, and, and I, I held down shift while I selected the second object. And I can click group, and now they're treated as one object. I can rotate them as one object. I can size them or scale them as one object. Okay, so if you have if you have things that you want to group together, um, all you have to do is click group. And if you don't want them to be grouped anymore, ungroup, and then they they get separated again. So, and you can move them separately. So, um, let's see. Uh, you can edit shape, which is pretty cool, and you can spend hours messing around with this uh, to create new shapes. Um, I'm, you know, that's fine. You can change your shapes, all that stuff. Let's see if there's anything that I really, that's really important. Um, page orientation, uh, portrait versus landscape. Uh, that's good to know the difference. If you don't know the difference by now, then we have a lot of work to do. Um, let's see. That's pretty much it with, with Publisher. There's not much to it. It's pretty easy. Um, the hard part with Publisher is, is kind of getting in your mind what you want it to look like and then uh, making it look like that is not difficult at all it's just coming up with what you want your poster or your your publication to look like um, getting it to that point is not difficult with this program so we're going to be using this constantly uh, like i said for most of our projects we're going to be using this so you're going to have a lot of time to learn it and get used to it um, but if you have any questions please ask me and i'll be more than happy to answer whatever whatever questions you have all right thanks for watching bye